In this video, we're going to take a look at the MAN 520 for American Truck Simulator. Junior Senior. G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming and today we're going to have a look at the MAN 520 for American Truck Simulator. So it's an old school truck as you can see and you know I love my old school trucks. So let's jump into customized configuration and check it out. Well first of all we're having a look at the cabs and there's only one to choose from here. So that is it, no sleeper, nothing, it's just day cab. Then the chassis, you've got the 6x4 or the 6x4 Auto cor Coro, whatever that is. Dump truck. It's a dump truck, basically. I'm going to just close that. It's getting in the road. There we go. So you can chuck boxes in there and stuff like that. So that looks pretty cool. Then you've got engines. You've got three different engines to choose from. You've got the 15192FLD 2146HM. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe somebody in chat might be able to tell us more information about that one there. I've never, ever, ever heard of that before. It'd be something that's, you know, probably for this MAN. One of, you know, maybe it's only that, or I don't know. Uh, then we've got the MAN 145 with 145 horsepower, of course. Then we've got the D2066 235 kilowatts, uh, 340, uh, 320 horsepower engine there. So. I'm wondering if these are going to be different or if they're going to be the same sounds. We'll check that out very soon. Now, transmission. There's 5-speed. There's a ZF 9S 11111. That one. Uh, TD manual, 9-speed. And then there's the ZFAS Tronic R, uh, the 12-speed. So Now, let's go and have a look at the interior. Now, I was very, very impressed with the interior when I saw this. Look at how much detail is in here. Now, I, I like how it's got... You can even see that that looks very, very realistic. The material there that's on the side there. That looks really, really cool. You can see the gauges are very big, very clear. As they would be in an old school truck. And even the door handles, very nice, very nicely done. See, very smooth. It, it really is very impressive of how smooth everything is. And that, so, uh, I think it's, yeah, really good. So let's jump over to, there's only one uh, interior, sorry, to choose. Uh, there's no other one, so it is a bit of a shame. Maybe in the future we might see some more of this, but... Uh, at the moment, this is—I think it's its first release, so it's yeah, just to see it in the game working well is, is a good thing. So, now paint schemes—we've got classic grey, classic red, and then you can choose custom color. So, the custom color does change everything, though, as you can see, even the dump truck, the chassis, everything—it changes. So it's not a matter of the chassis is black. Uh, no, you can ch you have to change everything to be that color. So, um, I I personally think that that's a bit of a shame. But anyway, it does boil down to personal choice, doesn't it? So, uh, some people might like it like that. Let's go and choose a nice orange. Now we had orange the other day, didn't we? So let's go a nice sort of blue sort of color, and we'll go. There we go. That's a nice blue, that is. Now, the accessories. There's a few to choose from. So if we go to the bumper, you can actually do painted or chrome. Now, I like the chrome. I especially like the chrome on these old trucks. I really do. Uh, eyelids for the lights. That's pretty cool. I like that. And then we've got accessory slot. One problem, though, with the accessory slot is there's no accessories to put in there. So, obviously, that's something that will come in the future. So, but not available yet. Now, you can have these little uh, bumper guides on there. I don't think... I don't like them on this truck. I think this truck looks so much better without them. 
Now over to the dashboard, you've got dashboard slots, which are actually, when we have a look inside, you'll see they're in a funny spot. So there's another, there's the inside that is for the bags and notebooks and accessories. And then there we've got the main mirrors. Now you can change the main mirrors to paint, chrome or plastic. Uh, I'm going to choose chrome. I definitely think they look better as chrome. Up the top is a light bar. However, there's a slight problem. The light bar doesn't have any accessories to put in there yet. So hopefully that'll come soon. So for the moment, I'm just going to take that off and get rid of it. There we go. Uh, nothing that you can choose for the actual trailer at this point. So there's just stuff on the inside. There's all your, your crap for the inside there. More crap. Uh, windows uh, for your window we'll have a look at that the inside there uh, that was CB radio for the inside there's your mirrors that is satellite GPS and what's that one there that is oh that's also for the inside as well oh, I got to show you that one that's good all right uh, let's spin it round I think that is pretty much it for everything now let's go to the wheels here now the tires it's got its own custom rims and tires which is good I really like to see that in old trucks you can get the off-road kind of tires or you can get an old style tire as well so there's different couple of different tires there I'm gonna chuck it on man 3 man 3 uh, there is the rims you can chuck in any of the standard rims however I suggest you put on the standard tires as you can see there standard rims and then we go man the man2 now this one here looks a bit funny I think that's the hub there it's meant to be and it's still showing that it's the you know the rim so there's the hub so I'm not sure what's going on there I think it may have got the rim and the hub confused because it doesn't seem to be working properly but anyway and then there's this one here which has got that same hub there the same nuts and there's the hub same hub and that is that's it there we go um, the one that I like the best is that one the default one that you get and you, you can't you can put on extra nuts but it just doesn't work properly so just leave them on that one back to the rear and then we go down to the let's go those oh those tires oh look oh there we go I just noticed that those tires aren't sitting properly so back to those ones oh just realized that so we'll put on those ones there and we'll make those those default rims there and then we've got the standard nuts standard hubs and then we've got that uh, the hub center there so the cap sorry hub cover so sorry when I said standard I meant it comes with you know just not that one there is better than the, yeah anyway you know you know what I mean so it's got its own hub is what I meant to say sorry I said standard anyway uh, but there we go same thing with this one it's still not quite right but it looks good like that there we go now you can't change the cargo you're basically stuck with that which is a bit of a shame but however if you go back to the chassis you can go and chuck on that chassis there I've noticed one thing with the chassis that the fifth wheel is like way down in the chassis there um, and I don't think that would actually work properly but anyway I think they would probably yeah I think I think it's meant to be up higher meant to be above the guards anyway but doesn't matter now let's go to the accessories now over from the left hand side nothing there up the top there you can go and chuck in you know your different sort of dangly hangy things but I think in that spot there it's sort of in the wrong spot over to the paint so that's your mirrors we'll leave them on chrome there's your GPS if you want to have a GPS in there um, I'm gonna take it out today there is a pattern now this is something I thought interesting and that spot there and that spot there is a pattern now you can go and change the pattern to whatever you would like so there's different kinds of patterns and that I thought was quite original 
Something that you don't see a lot of. And I like that one, the little scrolls, I thought looked quite nice. It is a shame that there's not another dot here for, the, for that spot, to put a different kind of one there, or, or to have another one on the end there, something like that. But anyway, maybe in the future we might see that. So there we go, pretty good. Now that there is, it, oh there's those, um, what's his name again, yeah the bumper guides, no we don't want those. Coffee cup, you can put on some other accessories from Euro Trucks. Uh, we'll put an SCS coffee, coffee cup in there. Uh, then we have the, it says fur. It says fur, but I think it means dash cover. You can put on there. Blue, black, or, or even red on there. You can take it off as well. So there you go. That is very cool. Now, over here is... Now, this is those accessories I was thinking that they look a bit sort of out of place. You can go and chuck on here, like your hula hula girl. Put her there. So she's facing the wrong way. Doggy's facing the wrong way. Cup's okay. Sunglasses are okay. So, you know, you can put a few other things on there if you want. I don't know why. That's facing the wrong way, so that's no good. Your wallet and a sandwich. Well, to give you something to eat while you're driving along. And there you can go and put your overnight bag on there or whatever. There's your mirrors again. CB. There's your CB, which we clicked on before. And there is your your little dots that you can stick things on. So they're all from Euro Trucks. So you can put on SCS there or World of Trucks. I think World of Trucks will suit this one nicely. And there you go. That is pretty much everything. Now, let's confirm that. I think that looks really, really nice for an old truck. I like that. I really do. So let's do a trade-in on the last mod. Yes. Okay. And let's... Oh, it's raining. Oh, dear. Oh, something else that you need to know. This is at the Volvo dealer in Las Vegas is the place where you can find this one. So uh, there's no other place to get it but from there. And that looks, I reckon that looks nice. I can't see any big gaping holes or anything like that. Again, it is a bit of a shame that all the fuel tanks, the chassis and everything is one color. Uh, having the option to not have that would be better. I think anyway. Right, so let's turn on the truck. Wow! I like it! That's cool! Turn some lights on. High beams, yeah. Wipers. Wiper animation's working. Oh, isn't that good? There you go. Um, flashes. We got flashes. And around the back there, there's flashes, there's the brake light, there's the reverse light. Oh, my number plate has gone all funny. I don't know what's happened there. It still seems funny on the front too, I don't know what's happened. Right, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Horn. And that's... <laughs> there's no air horns. Uh, now, let's jump on the inside here. I like this. I actually like the inside of this. I reckon it's really cool. Display. Cross your fingers. Ah, oh, display did not crash. Yes. Very good. Right. Let's... Let's go take it over here. <laughs> oh, man. I, you guys know that I love the... Uh, the old school trucks. And this is really cool. I'm liking this. All right, let's test out the engine, see if the other engines uh, make different sounds or if they're the same sound. And jump on the outside. Oops, th there we go. Start her up. Nah, it's the same sound. Okay, and then we go to the upgrade shop again. And confirm. And then let's go back out here. Mm. 
Nah, same sound. That's alright. That's alright, you know. These things happen, don't they? It is, it is only a new one, so I think that that in itself... We got another gear? No, only got low there. No. No, that's it. Right, okay. Alright, well, let's go take this for a drive. And I'm just going to... Or am I, am I gonna... Yeah, I made it. Whew, I wouldn't have made it with a trailer. Put those wipers on. This is really cool to drive around. I'm liking this a lot. Listen to the sounds. That's great. Oh, man. I think... I think oh, I'm in love. This is awesome. It's driving so nice. Turn those wipers off now. Alright, what happened there? Oh, got it in the wrong gear. Let's put it in fourth. There we go. Right. Well, there we go. And we got a high? Yeah, we do. No six. There we go. So five, five high is what we've got. Speeding offence. There's the banana break. That's interesting. I've never ever heard a exhaust break, a banana break like that at all, ever. But wow, look at this. I think um, might have to just uh, quickly. I hated how it never doesn't leave those on. Let's quickly go here. Oh, the seat is... Oh, that's changed. That's why. I always have mine on 76. There we go. That's why it looked funny. There we go. Well, I actually really do like this. Um, and I think that if you're an old school kind of guy and you like your old school kind of trucks, that you're going to love this as well because, I mean, it drives nice. Um... I mean, it's handling quite well. It really is. What you would normally see the steering wheel turn, it feels like that it's meant to be doing that. So, I'm going to be breaking some rules here. Oh, no, that's right. That's not a street. Oops. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'm driving all over the place. What a crazy driver. That's terrible. Um, so, yeah, look, I think this is definitely a mod to check out guys especially if you're an old school uh, truck kind of guy you know definitely but it's not up to me to vote guys it's up to you if you would like to see this in the weekly drive then you know what to do punch that like button in the ass and that not only tells me that you want to see this in the weekly drive but it also tells me a whole heap of other statistics as well which uh, help me with uh, the YouTube channel now, um, if this is the first time you've seen Junior Cine Gaming, then make sure you head on over to the Junior Cine Gaming channel and check it out on YouTube. There's over 1,800, nearly 1,900 videos there for you to watch. Uh, plenty of vehicle simulation videos to keep you amused. But until next time, guys, don't forget to keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down, and I'm 1010 on the side. And remember, game on.